This is a Game Caviar production. Not having it in the Game Caviar Studios playing some Battlefield 3 close quarters combat. And I don't know what this level is, but this is Conquest Domination. My favorite. I, I don't know, man. This is one of my favorite. I'll say this is one of my favorite game modes. I like uh, Capture the Flag the best. Because you get to ride around with those cool ass, um, what are they, the, the dirt bikes? It's so cool. Anyway, pre-order Battlefield 4 at uh, at Walmart today. Well, last week, actually, or this past weekend. And I've talked about this before. This this is just something that the, the Walmart that's closest to me has really started doing. And it's really cool, man. They give you a gift card. That you pay five dollars for and that's the down payment for the game and it's not your average Walmart gift card all right they have a different design for each game that you pre-order and these things are really cool I think that in like I don't know five ten years maybe or if they just stop making or stop doing this these things could really become very valuable and uh, not well collectible valuable collectible same thing pretty much and the battlefield 4 one is pretty awesome i mean this is it's just battlefield 4 and it's got the the you know the color orange for uh, that's really famous with battlefield and uh, the design is really uh it's it's just straightforward it just says battlefield 4 is, and it says pre-order to receive a battlefield 4 uh premium expansion pack which hell that's pretty cool man because the reason why it's pretty cool is that a premium expansion pack, the expansion packs aren't cheap. So if you get one for free, that's pretty awesome. I do plan on, here's what I'll do. Since I'm pre-ordering Battlefield 4, and I'm already going to continue being a premium member, if the premium expansion pack is a DLC code. I just give that code away to you guys. I don't have a problem with that. It would it wouldn't it's not going to help me any holding on to a a a DLC code for nothing when I'm going to be a premium member and I'm going to get the code anyway. So, I don't know when of course it's going to be after the game comes out in the fall, but yeah, I mean, I'll keep... I'm not going to forget something like that. I mean, it's pretty major. But yeah, so far I've gotten a Battlefield 4, a uh, Warfighter, and a uh, Bioshock Infinite, which looks amazing. They all look amazing, to be honest with you. They have... I Somehow, I think when I went and got Halo 4, they took my damn card for Halo 4. Because I guess they, they could either take it or give it back. And I wasn't paying attention and they, they kept it. So, that sucked. But anyway... I'm going to keep on to holding on to these cars because this is awesome. I like this, man. I mean, if you go to like Best Buy, I don't, maybe Best Buy does it too. I don't know. I'll have to look. I'll check, uh, not this weekend. I have to work this weekend, but maybe next weekend. I'll check and see how many uh, other places are doing this same or something similar to this. But I like this, man. Like if you go to GameStop or something and you pre-order a game, it's like, okay, you pre-ordered it. Cool. We'll send you a text when it's about to come out. And that's it. Which works. And that's fine, but... I, I I really like Walmart. I really like what Walmart did here. This is pretty awesome, and uh, a lot of times I'm really critical on Walmart and how they uh, how they can manage to have so many people in the store but only have two lanes open. I know that's happened to more than just me. I think that's just I think they honestly I think that's how they plan it because you know the way that these stores are set up is the more they the longer you stay in line the more you have time to look at things like the candy or you know whatever and in walmart you know they have all sorts of trinkets and dumb crap in the lines so you can you have time to look at all that stuff magazines if you want a soda they have sodas there and i think they plan it that way seriously because it'll go on for a long time and then all of a sudden they might open up another lane or two just to get the line down because it's either that or or risk having a riot in the store but uh, back on subject, I did watch the 17-minute video of Battlefield 4. It looks absolutely beautiful. Of course, that was on a PC, though. Probably a really high-end PC. So, 
uh, keep that in mind. A lot of times when uh, developers release gameplay videos, it's on a PC. It's on a computer, like a really high-end computer. I know they did it for Battlefield 3, and the same thing is happening with Battlefield 4. And I, my guess is that it's coming out on the next-gen consoles, but we'll talk about that later. Anyway, this has been Battlefield 3 on Xbox 360. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios, and I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.